What did you just say, Philly boy? Oh, oh we have our tower! Reggie Fisa, man! OB1 plays? That's right, what's up? All right. OB1 plays? Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know, give it a thumbs up, man. Why? Because we lit and 12 is greater than 10. XCon gang. All right, we have a couple of dope news items for this video. We're just having fun with it, bro. We're having fun with it. The first one, Phil Spencer possibly just drop the beans on the Xbox Series S. Now, I did a video talking about the, um, how he um, confirmed Xbox All Access will be available at the launch of the Xbox Series X, making the console pretty much free up front and you get on a monthly subscription for the console. A great a purchase choice for some who don't want to shell out maybe the 400, 500. Is it going to cost 600? We don't know. Uh, up front, it's a good option. But within that interview, and while he was saying that, he said, and he said it just like this. He said, we're going to have Xbox access available at the launch of our consoles plural having many to speculate and i think it was gamestop or another major outlet reported that and uh, did he just accidentally because he knows of course things we don't know and he could just be speaking and he accidentally not knowingly um, because he knows there's going to be two consoles, but we didn't know. And so he accidentally said consoles hitting to two console options launching this holiday. Now, it's been heavily rumored that Microsoft could be launching two console variants of their next gen hardware. The Xbox Series X, Project Anaconda, and... And this is why it's, it's more than likely true. On the inside of the Xbox um, Series X, they did the internals. There's a sticker of an anaconda, meaning those anaconda leaks were true. But within those leaks, it was Project Anaconda and Project Lockhart, a cheaper, um, a cheaper, um, less powerful version of the Xbox Series X. Now, <coughs> a couple of things come to mind with the, the cheaper variant of the console. I personally think Microsoft should just launch one console this holiday season. Don't confuse any buyers. Is this next gen? What What is going on with this two, the two consoles? Just launch one console, the Xbox Series X, and next holiday season, launch the S, a cheaper version of the X that could possibly run uh, the same games, but not in 4K. I think that would be dope. Um, and so, Bill Spencer, he said, at the launch of our consoles, he made it plural, hinting to more than one consoles launching um, um, sooner rather than later. I'm getting the X anyway, bro. I want the big boy, bro. That's the one I'm getting anyway. All right. More news, bro. <laughs> oh, man. These pictures are coming courtesy of Gaming Slay. Shout out to the homie Andre. Hey. <laughs> Xbox ain't playing around this gen, bro. Bro. All right. I already did a video. The video this new segment is not about the PlayStation 5, bro. The copying that Sony did for Xbox console. But right after Sony revealed the DualSense controller, this is what Xbox tweeted. 
No words, no nothing. Just a GIF of their controller. Oh, man. Because many are saying the ergonomics, the, the, the design of this controller obviously copies Microsoft, the Xbox One controller, except for the thumbs placements in the middle. It's an Xbox One controller. And so, um, they, they, the hand grips, everything. I've said it in the video I just did. Instead of the oblong, oval-shaped hand grips, the hand grips are very reminiscent of an Xbox controller. And so, Xbox knew it, and they tweeted out their controller, which, in my opinion, is the GOAT, bro. The best two controllers ever made. Xbox controller and then the GameCube. I realized more flaws with the GameCube as I used it with my Switch where the buttons are placed to reach across that big A button in the middle. If, you, if you're trying to go from B to I think X or B to Y, it's a huge leap. I can see why Nintendo no longer uses it. But this controller right here is controller perfection, bro. The standard by which every controller will be measured. And the one I have in my hand right here is the controller of all controller. The only flaw with the original Xbox One controller is the D-pad. This, this is a D-pad in beast mode, bro. And so, um, this is the best controller ever made. They, um, Microsoft knew that they had a winner, bro. And what I like about them tweeting this out, they've been countering everything um, um, Sony has been doing. Sony bombed in their PS5 reveal event. Microsoft announced coming Thanksgiving 2020. <laughs> and so Microsoft has, that's what I like to see. Be aggressive, bro. This reminds me of the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis days, bro. Where they used to go at each other, bro. Sega used to be like, we got blast processing, bro. Genesis does. You can't do this on Nintendo. Come on, man. And I like, I like, I like this. All right. Um, to round out this video, we had an inside Xbox, which is Xbox's version of Nintendo Directs. And a couple of cool things were announced. One, they did confirm how you will be able to use your external hard drives. This is my eight terabytes. I have eight terabytes. Um, external hard drive connected to my Xbox One X at the moment and I'm gonna be able to use this bad boy with my Xbox Series X it's a matter it's just as easy as unplugging it from my X and plugging it into my Xbox Series X boom and my games would be good to go that simple now this is only for current gen games if you're gonna use the optimized Xbox Series X next gen games, you're gonna have to use the one terabyte solid state drive that comes in with the con comes with the console, and you could buy expandable storage through the Seagate proprietary um, um, eternal external um, hard drive. Look like little memory cards. So I think that I thought that was cool. Also, we got two release dates on games I'm looking forward to. First. Minecraft Dungeon, May 26th. Originally, it was supposed to come out in April. It got pushed back a month, probably due to the coronavirus. But this is the first time I'm hyped for a Minecraft game. Um, the Dungeon Crawler. The game looks dope, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to be playing that. And Grounded, Grounded. I'm a little mixed on this. I, I saw the gameplay. It's going to be free through Game Pass, so I'm definitely going to be playing it. And I like, one thing I liked about it, multiplayer, you can do the campaign, the story, multiplayer with homies. So, if you're a sponsor, we're going to be playing that Grounded Boy. We're going to beat the game together. Alright dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. Giveaway, $60 PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or Xbox code. You just got to become a subscriber. Click that subscribe button. Get in that giveaway. Boy, we out. Come on. Out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, 
make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.